Hello, hola, and welcome to day two of the International Otec Association Otec Symposium. I'm Benjamin Martin, Secretary General of the OTA. I'm pleased to be here to MC the third Uehara Prize Ceremony. For our opening remarks, I'd like to introduce Director of the Institute of Ocean Energy, Sagi University, Professor Yasuki Ikigam. Hello. Hola, so I am Yasuki Ikegami. In, in addition to my uh, role at Saga University uh, in, uh, Institute of Ocean Energy Saga University, I am also honored to be chair of the uh, OTEA Executive Community and Award Communities. Uh, it's my hope uh, together we can realize the dream of the person uh, for which this hour in named my mentor, uh, Haruo Uehara. Uh, the prize is memory of Professor Haruo Uehara, known as a father of uh, Japanese OTEC and inventor, inventor of the uh, Uehara cycle. He passed August 11. Uh, 2017. He's uh, never give up the to promote the OTEC for 45 years. Uh, he he very strongly promote OTEC uh, the leader uh, the Japanese uh, father of the OTEC. Uh, please, Ben San. Professor Uehara was born March 28, 1940 in Nagasaki, Japan. He graduated from Yamaguchi University in 1963 and joined Kyushu University as an assistant professor, where he received his doctorate of engineering. He joined Sagi University in 1996, eventually becoming president in 2002. After retiring from Sagi University in 2005, Professor Uehara founded the MPO Ocean Thermal Energy Conversion Promotion Organization. He was awarded the Order of the Sacred Treasure, a Japanese medal in 2015. In 1994, Professor Uehara invented the Uehara cycle, an adaptation of the Kalina cycle to lessen the load for condensers by extraction of vapor from the turbine. Now I'd like to provide some background on the history of the prize. After Professor Uehara's passing in 2017, Professor Ikigami was able to memorialize him at the 5th International OTEC Symposium, which took place in La Reunion that year. During the discussions, it was proposed an award be established to remember him. The next OTEC Symposium, which took place here in Okinawa, uh, the award was decided and a group of international members were consulted in selecting the recipient. This year, we have formed the Ocean Thermal Energy Association, for those of you not aware, we invite you to join us. The OTA is a volunteer organization of individuals interested in OTEC, CWAC, and related technologies. It is our hope that coming together to network, exchange information, and create new resources will strengthen our voice and advance commercial OTEC realization. We now have more than 370 members from 41 countries and regions. Going forward, the OTA will select the future Uehara Award recipients, as well as guide future OTEC symposia. Next, I'll introduce the previous recipients of this now prestigious award. In 2018, Dr. Luis Vega, formerly of the University of Hawaii at Manoa, was presented the very first Uehara Prize in 2018 at the 6th International OTEC Symposium on September 26, 2018. Dr. Vega is a former manager of the Hawaii National Marine Renewable Energy Center at HNEI he holds degrees in applied mathematics, aerospace engineering, and applied ocean sciences from the U.S. Naval Academy, Caltech, and University of California. Many of you know him. Uh, he is uh, one of the driving forces and kind of almost mascots uh, behind uh, this uh, uh, in the endeavor. And many of you uh, researchers rely on his uh, vast amount of information that he's made available uh, through the University of Hawaii uh, to everyone. Last year, Dr. Prina Majalhal of NIOT was awarded the 2019 Uehara Prize on September 26, 2019 at the 7th International OTEC Symposium in Busan. 
Although unable to accept in person, she provided pre-recorded marks to attendees. Dr. Prenum is a senior scientist who heads the Energy and Fresh Water Group in the National Institute of Ocean, Ener Ocean Technology, India, and recently served as acting director. She has coordinated many first ever projects in ocean energy and desalination. As many of you heard yesterday, uh, she is leading the charge in India and I think one of the leaders in the world. Uh, so we look forward to uh, hearing more from her in the future and uh, from her uh, associates later today and tomorrow as well. So um, as you can see uh, from last year, we were able to establish uh, as part of the uh, Wehara Prize, the uh, gift uh, to participants. This is a Kiza Raku, a unique collaboration between Saga, where Professor Uegahara taught, and Kumijima, where the Okinawa Otek demonstration is located. The bottle is handcrafted by famous Imari ceramic ware artists and filled with an Okinawa alcohol, Aomori, distilled by Inushima here on Kumijima. The alcohol can rest for many years and be enjoyed with ice and or water. This is a little introduction to where this uh, memorial prize comes from and a little bit of home from Saga, just to give you a taste. So this year, with the establishment of the OTA, the executive committee voted to take on the yearly selection of this prize. The diverse group of OTEC member, uh, OTA members debated, voted, and selected this year's deserving recipient. Professor? Yeah, it's my pleasure to announce the third Uehara Prize is award to uh, Dr. Tom Daniel. So those of you uh, who don't know he professionally uh, may remember him from the talk he gave the, at the reception of the sixth International Otec Symposium. As you can see uh, in these historical photos, Tom provided me a few years back, uh, never quite suspecting this particular use, I think. Uh, during his time as technical director of Nelha, he also advised Okinawa Prefecture, specifically Governor Ota, during the site selection process for what is now the Okinawa Deep Seawater Research Center, where I sit right now. Thomas H. Daniel, PhD, is a physical oceanography uh, from the University of Hawaii in 1978, provides consulting services, including but not limited to the fields of oceanography, ocean engineering, ocean energy, deep ocean water applications. Dr. Daniel worked as an assistant oceanographer at the Research Corp of the University of Hawaii, research scientist at Lockheed Ocean Systems, technical director at the State of Hawaii's National Energy Laboratory, of Hawaii Authority and uh, has done many uh, consulting assignments as well. His specialties include oceanography, ocean engineering, ocean energy, deep ocean water applications, and a lot of aloha. So this is the uh, certificate that we'd like to present to Tom. So Tom, if you'd like to come online now, if you don't mind. And if you have a, a few words to say, I'd like to read this uh, sorry, uh, citation to you. Whereas the international OTIC community recognizes the awardee's long-term contributions to the development of OTIC through, te through technology development research or promotion of public awareness. And whereas the international community feels that aforementioned has contributed in a way that positively calls to mind the memory of Professor Uehara, today, January 28th, 2021, presented on behalf of the Ocean Thermal Energy Association, to Dr. Tom Daniel. Thank you very much. Aloha from Hawaii. And Congratulations. <laughs> it's, uh, thank you for the honor. I, I, I'm very honored to receive this prize from the Ocean Thermal Energy Association. And I thank the OTEA Award Committee for selecting me for the honor. I'm also humbled by my selection, knowing that there are many much more qualified researchers and leaders whom I hope will have the honor of receiving this Uehara Prize in future years. My role in the development of OTEC has been largely made possible by my position at the National Laboratory of Hawaii, now the NELHA, the Natural Energy Laboratory of Hawaii Authority. 
I was there from 1982 to 2003. This laboratory, which many of you in this webinar have probably visited at various times and or worked there, uh, was proposed and funded by Dr. John Craven, who in 1974 actually wrote the legislation, moved it through the state legislature and convinced the Hawaii governor, John Burns, to sign the act which created the Natural Energy Laboratory of Hawaii. Dr. Craven, serving for many years as chairman of the board of directors, was my mentor and co-worker in developing the laboratory from my arrival there in 1982. <clears throat> Beginning with inspiration from Dr. Craven, who really ought to be receiving this Uehara Prize for his multiple contributions. Unfortunately, he's no longer with us. Uh, it contributed much to the advancement of OTEC and deep ocean water utilization. My contribution to ocean thermal energy development has been largely in the role of facilitator and promoter. I've been fortunate to work with many people from around the world in this endeavor, and I'd like to acknowledge some of them, especially several who are no longer with us, for their important contributions to this technology, which the technology offers so much promise for meeting humanity's future energy and food needs. Though there's not time to say much about each of these people, most of whom are probably well known to the rest of our OTEC community, I do want to at least acknowledge the many contributions of those I've had the honor of working with on the development of deep ocean water technology, beginning somewhat chronologically after Dr. Craven, and with apologies for my poor pronunciation of uh, names, <laughs> I, I just like to go through to, to mention some of the people who've had a, um, I've been able, I've been very fortunate to be able to work with. Uh, one was Professor Patrick Takahashi, director of the Natural Hawaii Natural Energy Institute uh, at uh, the University of Hawaii and, er and an earlier an OTEC advocate and Senator Matsunaga's office in Washington. And Dr. Luis Vega, of course, the uh, with the Pacific Inter National Center for High Technology Research and HNEI, the Hawaii Natural Energy Institute. He did many projects at Nelha and has been become a good friend over many years. And he's published, as mentioned by Professor Ikigami, he's he's published many uh, very helpful and important papers, uh, keeping helping us all to know. Uh, the potential of OTEC. Another one I want to acknowledge is Dr. Joe Van Risen, president of Makai Ocean Engineering, which designed and oversaw the installation of all the seawater pipelines at Nelha. Dr. Van Risen was also instrumental in the development of the concept and the implementation of deep seawater air conditioning. Professor Hans Kroc of the University of Hawaii, who worked on several open and closed cycle projects at Nelha and throughout the world, was also very important. And Drs. Terry Penny and Desikan Barathon of the Solar Energy Res Research Institute, now the National Renewable Energy Laboratory near Denver. Uh, and Dr. C.B. Panchal and his colleagues at the Argonne National Laboratory in Chicago. Professor Takanobu Kajikawa of the Shonan Institute of Technology was an early visitor at the Natural Energy Laboratory and one of my hosts on trips to Japan. And uh, Takayoshi uh, Ted Toyota and Tomitsu Dr. Tommy uh, Nakashima, both of Jamstech and Yokosuka, were also NELH visitors and wonderful hosts on my Japanese visits. And Professor Mac Masayuki Takahashi of the University of Tokyo, the premier developer and promoter of aquaculture uses for deep ocean water and author of the wonderful book on the subject, was a frequent visitor at Nelha and a host for several of my Japanese visits. And Professor Haruo Orihara and of course, Professor Ikegami were also uh, very important uh, 
helpers in promoting what we were doing at the Natural Energy Laboratory and developing their own projects all over the world in India and elsewhere. Uh, somebody I want to mention who may, many of you has not been involved with OTEC for many years, but his name was Michel Gautier, and he was a, a project leader for uh, Ephraimer in France and frequent visitor to, um, to the Natural Energy Lab. And he and I traveled to Japan and other places to visit OTEC projects. Uh, and a very important leader. He was also important with Dr. C.Y. Lee of Taiwan in founding the International OTEC Association, which promoted and publicized the work that was going on in the world in, in OTEC throughout the 1980s and 90s. Um, Martin Brown of Scotland, who's uh, and visited me at, at uh, the Natural Energy Lab several times and whose uh, MSc thesis on OTEC cold water pipe dynamics. I got a, I was honored to help edit. Uh, Dr. Alistair Johnson of the GEC Marconi Research Center in UK and a collaborator who was a collaborator with Dr. Hugh Wynne Edwards of, uh, and Dr. Nigel Fitzpatrick, both of Alcan, the Aluminum Company of Canada, who developed roll bonded aluminum heat exchangers and did much work on them at the Natural Energy Lab and elsewhere. And I don't want to forget uh, Gover Governor Masahide Ota of Okinawa, who recognized the value of and the need for an Okin Okinawa deep seawater laboratory and invited me to help select the Kumajima site. There are, of course, many others who've contributed to OTEC but these are some of those that I've been fortunate enough to work and travel with in promoting this technology. In conclusion, I'd like to reiterate the message that Dr. Vega delivered when he received the first Uehara Prize in 2018. He said that he pointed out that all of us in the international OTEC community need to work together to, to develop multinational projects of sufficient scale to demonstrate the promise of this technology. In addition to that, I, I also encourage even more cooperation across disciplines between scientists and engineers, entrepreneurs, businessmen, academics in several different fields, people in aquaculture and other deep ocean water applications, including seawater air conditioning. We need to all work together to promote this, this uh, wonderful technology. And we need to develop larger projects of scale that can't be, afford it can't be funded by an individual government. And they need to be, uh, we need to come up with ways to integrate our resources so we can do the projects of the size that's needed. Only if we collaborate in a multinational and multidiscipline fashion can we begin to realize the scale of the projects that we need for development of these transformative technologies. Thank you again for the honor of this prize. And aloha from Hawaii. Yeah. We do have your memorial yeah. gift. Yeah. And we'll get it to you as soon as possible. This is... Mahalo. I look forward to. I promise not to drink it. Uh, I was going to say I look forward to to sharing it with visitors who can come here after this epidemic is over with. <laughs> Thank you very much and congratulations. Yeah, thank, you very much. thank you very much. This concludes the third annual Uehara Prize ceremony. Congratulations again. We look forward to the rest of the second day of the eighth international symposium. A short break break will take place now as they prepare for our next keynote. I'll turn it back over to the great organizers at the uh, Mexico International Otic Symposium. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Aloha. Thank you.